I'm in New Jersey, and one thing we're known for is growing amazing tomatoes. We've been growing tomatoes here for five years, and we learned a number of things along the way to get better production. I'm gonna share them with you. I'm gonna give you three hacks for growing tomato plants that look like this. It's important to note that there are two different types of tomatoes. Determinate tomatoes are bushier, they tend to not be as tall, and they usually only produce about one fruit all at one time. While indeterminate tomatoes, like this one, will continue to grow and produce fruit all season. So today, this is what we're gonna be focusing on, indeterminate tomatoes. The number one tomato hack for higher production is to grow up stakes or grow vertically. Growing up stakes is perfect for small spaces. By growing vertically, you can fit a lot of plants in a small area and a number of different varieties. When putting your stakes in, make sure you get tall ones because a healthy tomato plant can grow six to eight feet tall. For stakes, we use local bamboo that we harvest and to tie it, we just use old cotton shirts. We find these to be perfect. The second hack for growing bigger, healthier tomatoes is to prune the suckers. A sucker right here is essentially another tomato plant growing. It's got a top on it right here. You can see how the leaves are unfolding. This will continue to grow. It's basically another tomato plant growing off this vine. So we don't want that. We're growing up the stake. We want to focus on one top and focus on fruit and production. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to show you the technique on how to prune these. It's best to prune these suckers when they're young. This one is a little old, but it's okay. You want to do it quick. It works better in my opinion, but you snap it one way, snap it back the other way, and that'll just give you a relatively clean cut. You want it close to the stem if you can. So when you prune the suckers and you grow up one stake like this, it still allows you to get a really good harvest, a really good production of fruit, but it also keeps the plant from getting too bushy crowding itself out, which will uh, decrease your chances of getting any kind of fungus damages and things like that. When suckers get big, like this one, it's too big to snap with your hand, so it's best to just come with pruners and just slice it, get a nice clean cut, and then you can actually take this and stick it in the ground, and it'll root out as another tomato plant. I did one over there, let me show it to you. So here's that sucker I just cut off, and you're gonna wanna take the leaves off, so you just have stem, just the top leaves are fine. You're gonna wanna bury it as much as you can because it'll root all from the stem here. Here's one that I did a couple days ago or maybe a week ago and it's already grown. It's got some flowers on it. So what I like to do to not injure the stem is find a place. I'm just showing you right here though. This is the finest spot you wanna plant a tomato. I like to stick, stick a stick in there and move it around just a little bit. And, that'll, and then I'll stick the uh, tomato plant right in, not to force it too much. Bring the mulch around it and then come water that a couple times a day and that'll grow a separate tomato plant right there. The third tomato hack is to prune the leaves around the fruit and also prune the leaves below the first set of fruit. Right here, we've got two different tomatoes that I've already pruned. You can see here with this plant, I've taken out all the leaves below the fruit and also the leaves around the fruit. This way, the fruit gets direct sunlight like you see right there. And this one over here, I've also pruned a lot of the leaves so it can get good sunlight and good airflow that'll help reduce the risk of any fungus diseases and any blight issues. These three hacks will get your tomato plants focused on producing fruit rather than just leaves. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.